In this video, we're going to take a look at the code view and how to work with code snippets. So the first step is to open your site in SharePoint Designer. Once you've got that opened, you can go ahead and bring up your default.master by going into your catalogs and expanding it, and then expanding your master page and double-clicking on default.master. As you can see, that's what we've got here in front of us. Now I've got SharePoint Designer in split mode so that we can work with the design surface and with the code view. Working with SharePoint Designer in this way allows you to utilize some of the ease of use of the design surface with some of the more fine-grained control of the code view. Now we want to select this table that we've got in our default.master, so we're going to right-click on it in the design surface and then go to Select Table. Now that highlights it all, and as you can see, it highlights it up in the code view as well. Now that we've got the table selected, we can go ahead and right-click the selected content in the code view, and you'll see that one of the options is Create Code Snippet. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and what that does is it brings up the Add Code Snippet wizard. Now that asks us to create a keyword for the code snippet. In this case, we're just going to call it layout. And then it asks for a description. In this case, we'll call it a page table layout, since that's what it is. Now you see that underneath here, we've got the actual content that's going to be in our code snippet. Now we'll go ahead and click the OK button to add that code snippet. Now what we're going to do is close our master page. We're not going to save the content. Then we'll right click the default app master and create new from master page. As you can see, the code view for this is very simple. Since it's inheriting from the master page, there's essentially just one line. So what we need to do is go into our design surface we're going to select the placeholder main, click on the common content tasks, and we're actually going to select create custom content. Now you see what that did in the code view is it's added an ASP content field for us to put our content into. Now what we can do is go ahead and place our cursor inside of the content field. Now you can bring up the code snippets by hitting control enter and what that will do is bring up all of the code snippets that are available. Now you can see there's a number of them that come out of the box based around certain doc types. While you can scroll down, you can also, after you've hit Control Enter, just start typing the keyword that you had placed for your code snippet. As you can see, it's found, as I typed out layout, it's gone ahead and jumped down to where the page table layout is. And now I can go ahead and just hit Enter. Now what that's done is place the code snippet into place. Now we can click over here on the design surface and we can actually watch that update. So you can see now that it's gone ahead and placed that exact same table page layout into the placeholder main. Now we're going to go ahead and actually add a web part to this page. We're going to add the image web part into the top center cell here. Now we can go back up. As you can see, the image web part is highlighted in the code view. If we go up here and place our cursor at the end of the image web part tag, we can hit the space bar and you'll see that there it does have IntelliSense to be able to tell us what attributes are available for this particular tag. And go ahead and hit Escape to get out of that. Now we can bring up uh, Find by just hitting Control F. And what we want to look for is Frame Type. And we want to click on Find All. Now you can see that's brought up a Find Task Pane on the bottom here. You see it's found one instance. Now I could double click on that and scroll to the right just a little bit. If I highlight the value and I hit Control-L, 
it will actually bring up the IntelliSense for all the values that are available for the frame type attribute. So as you can see, the code view really does give you pretty fine grain control over just about any of the elements that you would find inside of a SharePoint ASPX page.